Hi guys, it's Just Modest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. So it has been quite a while since I filmed a book shopping vlog. However, I have an entire week off work and I want to buy some books. So I figured we would start at the used bookstore that is right by my house. I have a decent amount of credits there and they have a pretty good fantasy romance selection. Then we would go to the Barnes & Noble in South Jersey and then work our way back up to my house and go to the Barnes & Noble near me. And then at the end, I will do a little book haul. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go book shopping. Alright guys, so first up is the Barnes & Noble by my house. I did end up going out of order, but they ended up having a decent amount of books that I was looking for. So yeah, this is me awkwardly walking into the building. I absolutely hate filming in public. All right, so they had a decent amount of Penelope Douglas books. This is their romance section. It's typically where I go right when I walk in. I love this series so much. Well Met, if you have not read it yet, it's one of my favorite like rom-com series. And then I think I ended up seeing, yes I did, Misconduct, which I just read. It's one of Penelope Douglas's books. It's Age Gap, really, really good. And then this one I never heard of, but it looks like it's the last book in the maybe Bully series, so I didn't pick it up, but I do really want to read that series. And then these are all the paranormal fantasy romance. They have a very small section at this Barnes & Noble. And then I saw this Bridgerton box set that I almost ended up picking up, but I do own the first two. I want to get the third one. Um, I'm slowly working my way through the Bridgerton books. I really love the show. The books, I'm not sure about yet. <laughs> and then all of the Ice Clan of Barbarians. I love the new covers. Um, this section in general, I really love all of these books. And I feel like these books didn't used to be really popular at Barnes & Noble. So I'm really happy to have them in stock. And I noticed Twisted Love or Underlock, one of those books I was excited about. And once again, Ice Clan of Barbarians, beautiful cover. I love it that they have so many Laura at the Lassa books. And then next to Credence is Addicted, and I've heard good things about this series, but I haven't picked it up yet. So I'm really curious about it. So Lisa Kleypas, I've heard good things. I don't read historicals, and I'm not really sure where to start. I almost picked that book up. And then everyone keeps telling me to read J.R. Ward. Um, I will, I didn't buy the book from Barnes & Noble because I knew the next place I went to would probably have them in stock at the used bookstore. And now I am getting some much needed coffee. Um, I hadn't had coffee yet. So this line for Starbucks was so long. Um, the guy at the front was actually new, very nice and very apologetic, but it just took a decent amount of time. And I think I ended up getting a black tea lemonade. And this is just me with my black tea lemonade and my breakfast. <laughs> All right, next up, I went to the Book Traders of Hamilton. This is a really small shop and I feel like not a lot of people know about it, but they always have such a good selection. Um, and I had a decent amount of credits. I sold a bunch of books to them a while ago. So I wanted to see what they had. So all of these books are paranormal romance. Once again, an incredible selection. They also have three full rows of just historical romance and then a decent amount of contemporary. I was a little bummed because I was hoping they would have Colleen Hoover. They didn't have any um, Colleen Hoover or Penelope Douglas, but I did end up getting some books from this location. So here I am just looking at all the historical. <laughs> And then science fiction and fantasy. Yeah, they just have a crazy selection. And they have a decent YA section. So I've actually bought a few from here. I was thinking about getting The Clockwork Angel and some of those books, but I ended up passing. And there's the J.R. Ward books. So they ended up having, um, all, I think the entire Black Dagger Brotherhood and ended up getting the first two. All right, moving on. So this is actually the Barnes & Noble that's right by where I grew up. Um, and I don't remember them having a great selection. 
and I was completely wrong. So this was definitely the best spot um, that I went to. They had so many great books. Um, I think I was in here for over an hour. All right, so they had 30% off some hardcovers. I didn't see anything I was really interested in. I was excited they had the Crown of Gilded Bones. Really happy to see those um, in Barnes & Noble now because when I first started reading from Blood Nash, I couldn't find those books anymore. And then The Veiled Throne looked interesting and wild and wicked things I had never heard of. This is the book talk table. So, so many books. Um, and I feel like had there not been a book talk sign, I would have had no idea how all of these books went together. <laughs> and they did have the Atlas Six, and I almost picked it up. I do have the Fairy Loot Edition, but I actually like the black cover better. And then they had this entire Colleen Hoover table, and I never heard of this book without merit. And then I looked it up on Goodreads, and it had okay reviews. Anyone else hate the new Twilight covers? Because I absolutely do. <laughs> And then I saw this, I read Gallant, but I didn't love it enough to want to pick up a physical copy. All right, so this is when I discovered all of the amazing books at this Barnes & Noble. So Forget Me Not Bombshell, I could not believe they had this in hardback in stock at Barnes & Noble. Um, I thought I was gonna have to order that online. And then when I keep looking, I think I see Laura Thalassa. They had Rhapsodic, Death, um, the entire Full Horseman series. So that was super cool. And then I saw this book, this was on my TBR a while ago, and I never picked it up. And I really liked the cover. And they had Scarred and Hooked. I actually just finished Scarred last week. Didn't enjoy it as much as Hooked, but still really, really good. And then I'm currently reading Promises and Pomegranates, and then they had the second one there, which is also awesome, because I think I ended up ordering Promises and Pomegranates from Amazon, because um, nowhere had it in stock. So really nice to see that. And I've been hearing a lot of people talk about American Queen. I'm not a huge fan of Sierra Simone's writing. And then I picked up The Architect by Nikki Sloan. I've heard really good things about that. I'm curious though, I might still end up picking this up. I've really heard good things about American Queen. And then they had a pretty good YA section. So originally I thought it was really small, but then I realized the entire back wall was YA. I really want to read the series. Um, I feel like it might be too YA for me now, but it was on my TBR forever ago, and a lot of people really enjoy it. And then Crush and Curse and Crave. I've been wanting to read these. Those books are just so intimidating. They're so long. Maybe one day I'll pick it up. Let me know if you read them in the comments, if it's worth it. And when I got home, I had book mail. So even more books. All right guys, I am back. I was gone way longer than I planned. I think I left the house at like 11.30. It's almost four. So I was gone a very long time. Also, it is so awkward filming when you're in bookstores. I don't know, I know there's a lot of booktubers that do a lot of vlogs. I don't typically do vlogs on my channel just because it feels really awkward, but I got through it. So I ended up buying 10 books, which is more books than I had planned on buying. Um, and then I had a package when I got home. It has two books in it. I'm pretty sure I know what they are. So let's start with the package. So first up we have, okay. So Sweet Dandelion by Michaela Smeltzer. I actually read this a little while ago and I really enjoyed it. It's guidance counselor, student, an age gap. It's by the same author that wrote A Confidence of Wildflowers, which is like very, very popular right now. And I really like this. I did not realize how long it was. This is actually like a pretty chunky book, but um, yeah, it was really good. So really happy to own this physically. And then the other one I got was Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. Um, I read this. I didn't think I was going to love it. 
and it's probably one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books. It was just so emotional and absolutely loved it. Really has that summer vibe. So if you want like a nice summer read that's gonna make you cry, highly, highly recommend. All right, so the first store I went to was the Barnes & Noble right by my house. And let's see. All right, so they actually had a better selection than what they normally have, but still it wasn't great. So the first one I got was the fine print. I know very little about this. I just know everyone keeps recommending it to me. I believe it's employer employee relationship. And I think he might own like an amusement park or something like that. But this one and then terms of conditions keeps coming up in my recommendations and then on TikTok. So I'm very excited to read this. And then they also, I was very surprised they had this, Twisted Love. Everyone keeps telling me to read the series. I was waiting for the audio to come out and it doesn't look like it's coming out anytime soon. So I'm just gonna read it physically and I'm so excited. I know nothing about this, just that I've been getting so many messages from people telling me that I will love this series. So I'm so excited to read this first book. This is definitely gonna be in my May TBR. And then I got Underlock by Mariana Zabata. I don't know much about this one, I'm trying to work my way through all of Mariana Zabata's backlist. It looks like it might be motorcycle romance. All of Mariana Zabata's books are like slow burn romance, but I've enjoyed every single one. So super excited to check this one out. And then I went to the used bookstore, which is right by my house. They have such a good selection of romance. So they have contemporary, paranormal, historical. I don't know very much about historical, so I didn't get any, but they have such a great selection. So I ended up getting I think this is the first one. The first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood. A lot of you have told me to check this out since I really enjoy fantasy romance. And I didn't want to buy a new copy because I knew this was going to be like $2 at the store. So I ended up getting the first two books in that series. So hopefully I end up enjoying these. They had the entire series there. So if I do, I'll probably go back there to get them. And then they also had two books from the Dark Fever series by Karen Marie Moning. I started the first one. I think I finished it or I only had like two chapters left and then I put it down, but I was really enjoying it and I want to continue with the series. So I got the next two, which is exciting. And then the last Barnes & Noble was such a surprise. So this Barnes & Noble is about an hour, hour and a half from where I live now. It's the Barnes & Noble from where I grew up. I was visiting my mom and they had such a good selection of indie romance and just romances that I don't normally see and paranormal romance. Uh, they had the entire Zodiac Academy, the entire Dark Fae series. I was just so impressed by their selection. So I ended up getting a Confess by Colleen Hoover, another Colleen Hoover book. I don't know what this one is about. I think this is the painter and they, these two people have a relationship and the painter has like a secret, but it had like 4.2 on Goodreads. So I wanted to try it. And then I got The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. This was on my TBR a while ago and a lot of people were really enjoying it and then I kind of forgot about it. But it was just calling to me at Barnes & Noble and it kind of reminded me of summer and spring. So I'm really excited to pick this up. I might end up picking this up next. Um, this might end up being read in April because I don't know, I'm excited. So I got that. And then last I got Lilac by B.B. Reed. I know nothing about this. I think it's like a band reverse harem. Sounds fun. I don't know. I was just surprised they had it at Barnes and Noble and it was on sale, so I wanted to get it. So yeah, I will hopefully be reading this probably in April or May. But yeah, so those are all the books I got. Thank you so much for coming book shopping with me. Let me know if you guys want to see more vlogs on my channel. I don't do them often. However, they are really fun to film and I love watching them. So if you guys wanna see them, I will do them more. But anyway, I said this already, but I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.